Hello everyone from the Big Shave on the Facebook group. Welcome all my YouTube subscribers. I'm going to be doing a shave today with some rather generous gifts I received from another member of the Big Shave. Moises Barrera has sent on some very cool items. First of all, he has shared a Omega Bambino with me, which is a very short-handled bore brush, which I have never used. He has sent on some of the Deland de Men shaving cream sensitive, uh, which does include Guarana extract and Allentoin extra moisturizing. So I want to try that for the second time. I have done that at least once. I'll be shaving today with my beloved Razor Rock Jaws second use on one of the Hema blades from Danny Van Royen. So let me just show you where it all started. This delightful badger brush from Sabi. I never really see anybody talk about this particular brand. Um, it is actually pretty soft in terms of the tips. It's still got quite a lot of backbone. It's very sturdy, doesn't, doesn't give it all. Um, quite a lot of backbone, obviously. Um, this brush uh, was, of course, my only brush for quite a while. And then I moved on to the beautiful Samogue Natural Wood Handle 1250, which, as you can see, has really broken in very nicely. Fantastic twirl to the brush. I think that just looks really cool. I know there's people that have complained that it doesn't really keep it sort of even, straight on shape. I think that's one of the charms of these brushes. Kind of a very natural twist to the hair. Um, bristles have really broken in quite nicely. All you, can, you can look at them and you can see, if you look carefully at any one of them, all split along the top. Still pretty, still pretty tough, pretty strong, good backbone. Soft, maybe not as soft as that badger, but this is fantastic brush, loving this. Now, this is the Omega Bambino. Let me just give you a size comparison. So obviously the handle, <laughs> quite a bit smaller, um, but if you look at the, uh, well, the loft, there's definitely a, a difference in there. Uh, this is, in the scheme of things, actually this is a cost-wise, a very cheap brush but it gets really, really good reviews. Apparently it lathers really well. Um, you can see this is not broken in really at all. This is just wet. Um, I've never used this. Um, I don't th think that Moises Banana has maybe used this once or twice. It's, it's basically brand new. I'm gonna to continue to, uh, to soak it. I'm gonna apply a bit of this cream to my face after I wet my face. I have um, the Vitos pre-shave on and then we're gonna tear through this shave, try to keep it, try to keep it brief this time. Try to keep it brief this time, uh, I think falls under the general category of uh, what are known as famous last words. So rather than put this on the brush, I'm just going to take just a small, small dollop on either side. Just apply a little bit to my face. I have a feeling that given my experience with creams, I may need to apply some more, but this did lather very nicely last time. So. Unknown quantity on the cream and unknown quantity on the brush. So here we go, guys. I've shaken it out. First use of the Omega Bambino. This does not have the same same backbone as the 1250 does. So maybe to apply a little bit more, a little more vigor. Also, of course, not broken in at all. I do think this would make a very cool travel brush. Size-wise, this is fantastic. Stick it in a Ziploc bag or just tie up the top. Just dipping the tips in some water. This cream smells really nice, by the way. It has a nice, light kind of um, vegetable-y, grassy scent. Um, feels very slick on the skin.
I do know that if I was added to tight buns, this lather would seem plenty hydrated, but it's not. Watched Paul Bombino's video this morning of the Godridge cream. He and I have likely very similar well water, high in mineral content. And that means you just have to keep adding a little water, be a little more patient. All right. The only downside to this brush would be if, like me, you have relatively large hands, not a lot of handle to hold on to, but I think once this breaks in, I think this is going to be a really fun brush to use. And Moises Barana, thank you so much for sending this wonderful Christmas gift. Very generous of you. A little more water and then we're going to call it good for this one. It does seem to be kind of a, a very common theme among members of the Big Shave. Generous, friendly, kind, willing to share their time. Two and a half days worth of growth. Second use on the Hema blade. I've been trying in the mornings to to go through a what I'm calling sort of a two plus pass. And basically that's a, with the grain, and then in that pass add in sort of an against the grain. Like I said in a previous video, I'm going to be sticking with this razor through the month of January, I think. Really starting to feel much more confident and comfortable with it. I definitely recommend this if you're looking for an open comb you've never tried one before. Cream is nice, nice and smooth. This is going to be a quick shave, guys. Not looking for, uh, not looking for perfection here. Let me rinse off. Did have a chance, by the way, to to host Zachary Roth for a day trip into Chapel Hill. Wonderful to meet him in person. Took more around to see some of the sights in Chapel Hill. Drink some coffee, visit a Southern Season, which is this huge uh, sort of upper, kind of a, kind of a high-end food store, cookware, foods, um, big deli section, big coffee section. It just needs a little more water. Had a very nice late lunch 
at a local barbecue place called The Pig, which is being run by a former vegetarian. So you know the food's gotta be good. A guy who is now addicted to his meats again. Cream really quite nice actually. So what I've been doing with these two plus passes is sort of a light J hooking on my cheeks. And then trying to get out of trouble again. Lower part of my neck where the last couple of weeks, very prone irritation, redness. And that's in part because this is a heavier razor and it's easy, easier than you'd think to apply a little too much pressure, especially on that one last touch up. See, nice thin lather that doesn't look very thick. Still very good and slippery. Good, good protective layer there. All right, let's do a quick touch up under the chin. I'm gonna get crazy now. Minimal lather layer. So yeah, so I guess for that soap, next time a little bit more, another small dollop or two. Yep, yeah, gotta stop right there. That's it. Really easy, quick, quick, simple shave. Just a shave to try to try out the Omega Bambino. Questo piccolo bambino è molto piccolo, bello bambino, bambino molto bello. Thank you. Beautiful razor, beautiful shave. That brush is fantastic. That cream's really pretty nice. There's the, uh, there's the Turkish. If you can read Turkish. There's the English right side up for you. Very nice. I imagine these creams are not expensive, but it's sort of like the Godrich creams. They're cheap creams, but they seem to work really well. And even a water like ours, it's hard. It just means a little bit more product and a little bit more water. And you know, with a, uh, a well broken in brush, lathering will be no problem. Let me rinse off and get some aftershave on. Normally on the weekends, I would obviously take more time for that shave, but that's that's the basic routine for the work morning. It's just a very quick, quick two pass, and using that J hooking for the cheeks. Try to watch the uh, underside of my uh, chin here. Keep the irritation good and low. It's almost gone, guys. Almost finished. And when this one is done. I'm going to likely purchase the, uh, I think some of the, some of the Floyd Black. I have waiting in the wings a fresh bottle of the standard spike aftershave, which along with this Floyd Suave are 100% my favorites. But once this particular bottle is done, I'm going to, uh, to branch out, try the Floyd Black. I think Paul Bambino may already have that. Um, looking forward to hearing 
what people think about it, if everyone else has purchased it as well. I'm going to follow up with a bit of aftershave balm from Queen Charlotte, Key Lime. I usually use a little more than one full pump of the spray. I have found that for this aftershave balm, and this was two of the Play de Provence as well, is that if you follow this up, you know, right after the Floyd too quickly, it doesn't seem to take quite as well, but just trying to keep this short in the interest of time. I do like their aftershave balm quite a bit. It's not cheap, but it is very effective. Goes on easy. The scent lasts a little bit. It's not meant to be like an eau de cologne, not meant to be an all day scent at all. Um, the other thing I'm interested in trying is um, he has in the same format, same kind of bottle size, and maybe even the same, I'm not sure about the texture, but um, Matthew from Queen Charlotte is now producing a pre-shaved lotion, which is not an actual oil, uh, and I think is different than the uh, than the Vitos, so I'll be trying that on my next uh, my next shaving cream order from Queen Charlotte as well. Well, that's the end of that shave, guys. Let me just say to Moises Barrera again, thank you so much. That brush is fantastic. I'm going to keep using that. Break it in. Alternate between that Mysomo 1250. Liking this cream quite a bit. Uh, that went on really easily. Shaved well. Um, lathered easily. Pretty slick. Recommended. So that's it for me, guys. Hope everything is going great. Keep the videos coming, and uh, hope you all have a fantastic week coming up. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.